Welcome to Twisted Monday. Starting a little early, in that it's basically a full week early. We're playing Twisted Metal Black before the final Monday of the month. Because I'm going to be out of town next week. And I did not want to uh, deprive anyone of getting to see Manslaughter played through live. Plus, I will need people's support if I'm to make it through this particular playthrough. It's going to be one of the longer ones, I suspect. So, also, we also um, are going to miss next week's Twisted Monday stream. Once again, out of town, looking for apartments in the place I'll be moving to. Not moving yet, but the wheels will be set in motion over the course of this upcoming week. So I got a rough one coming up, but it should be fun. Gonna hang out with my partner as well as looking for apartments, which is very stressful in and of itself. Overall though, looking forward to it. So there's only one character left. It's Manslaughter. I played through every other character in the game all the way through. There are no snippets of information about Manslaughter or its driver in the instruction manual because it's a bonus character. A particularly superfluous bonus character at that. It's kind of funny, last week I forgot to tell the usual stream viewers that I would be starting early and that I would be playing Manslaughter. So unfortunately they're the ones who are going to miss this because I did splice in a little reminder in the YouTube video, which are the people who don't watch the streams live. Whoops. So Warthog and Manslaughter are the only two vehicles that don't have any info in that instruction manual. So we won't have to open that up. We won't have to watch very many cutscenes at all. Only cutscene we will see is very, very short. And there's no information on Black. Just a creep in a bondage hood driving a dump truck. My least favorite vehicle by far. We know his name, and so too does he. And he knows that he wants to kill Calypso. We wish him the best. Actually, we are going to see slightly more than one cutscene, just one substantive cutscene. I guess substantive would be the pronunciation. Maybe they're both right. I don't know. But... We're also going to see the cutscene where Minion is summoned, the cutscene where Minion explodes. And if all goes according to plan, we will see a cutscene that I wasn't even able to show off in the Let's Play that I did years ago. It's the one thing I wasn't able to show off and I regretted it. But when you unlock Minion, it plays a little cutscene and tells you Minion has been unlocked. You can only play it once per save file. And I played it on the save file on which I did the Let's Play many, many years ago. And I didn't want to replay the entire game beginning to end with every single character. So I skipped that very short cutscene. People forgave me, but... Uh, we're finally going to see it. I will undo that one regret. In a long time from now, because this vehicle's very slow. Can be very tedious. Play through. This was the last character I played through when I did my Let's Play. No, not my Let's Play, my casual playthrough. Back in the early 2000s. And uh, that means I had the most practice with Twisted Metal of any character, or of any, uh, I had the most practice I was ever going to get by the time I got around to this character. And it was still my longest and most difficult playthrough. I had a miserable time with this character and I could not have been better prepared for it. I am a Mr. Grimm player by trade, and uh, this could not be more the opposite of Mr. Grimm.
does not really work with my playstyle, and the special is super awkward. It fires from such a high point on the vehicle that it's kind of hard to actually land it. When you do land it, it's devastating. Okay, let's do that now. Now I totally whiffed it, even against a frozen opponent. Ah, uh, as usual, I did some practice. In fact, I've been sort of skipping practice with my Twisted Metal Black because I'm so good at the game now. This one, I went out of my way to do practice. And I was getting some full contact specials into opponents, which is basically a one-hit kill on some of the weaker ones. Drops them from full health to, like, deep into the red instantaneously. But it's so hard to land. Even when you're good at landing it, you don't get a lot of opportunities to do so. I am not good at landing it. But I got a pretty good one there. Warthog lost about half his health. That's acceptable. It's comparable to a fully charged reticle. Let that one off early. Ramming damage is where this vehicle really shines for me. Because I'm bad at everything else about it, but if you ram into someone with turbo, they are going to take preposterous amounts of damage. And that can really help me out, because I'm halfway decent at doing that. But of course, every other vehicle in the game is faster than this one. It's not like it's a thing I can rely on. So with the special, you can't be too close. You also can't be too far away. Because it spreads out like a shotgun blast. Gotta Goldilocks it. Or if the vehicle is huge, you can be very, very close and be just fine. Wasted one of them, but uh, two pretty effective uses in a row. And now Roadkill has woken up to snipe me with fully charged specials everywhere I turn. This is a well-balanced vehicle, but in exchange for maxed out armor, they uh, gave it no speed whatsoever. It's barely mobile. Not something I'm personally fond of. There weren't exactly a lot of uh, manslaughter stands when I did the Let's Play either and complained about this vehicle then. And, of course, it never returned to the series. So if it was a favorite, its fans did not win in the end. Frozen right after launching a gas can is always fun. Made up for it with a bullseye. Mr. Grimm's gonna humiliate me this entire playthrough. Because he has far better maneuverability than I could ever dream of. Didn't stop me from running him over. But it certainly made it a lot harder. If I can get a freeze... Oh, I don't need a freeze. You're dead. I didn't realize Roadkill lost most of his health. Last I checked, he was deep in the green. He seemed fine. Okay, we have someone in chat who mains manslaughter somehow. Fair enough. So I'm not going anywhere near the suburbs. Because that's a gigantic level and I would spend the rest of my life there just trying to chase enemies down. Freeway is slightly smaller, so it will take... 
slightly less time. And I got a bus to catch in a couple hours. Right out of town. So, uh, can't take too long. This playthrough's gonna take abnormally long anyway. Let's keep my ammo, because I didn't die. Seems like the attacks launched from so high on this vehicle that even gas cans fired a point blank won't instant bullseye. Which is one of my favorite things to do with other non hulking vehicles. Missed it anyway, but I made up for it. So when I did play this vehicle in the Let's Play, I insisted on doing it in the Twisted Metal Lost variant. Because I find that one more fun. Dark Side's a good target for our special. Ooh, sweet Tooth as well. But for now, I need to run away. Slowly. Run may not be the uh, correct term. I am leisurely jogging away. Despite the life or death situation that I'm in. Best I can do. Can't make that jump, apparently. <laughs> Trundling away, that's a good word for it. Supposedly, the TV series is spawning a new game, but no info this year has been released. I believe the last time there was any concrete information posted was October. And even that wasn't very significant. Just, yes, it's still happening. We probably cast it someone else that I forget. Wonder if Manslaughter will get onto the TV show. I know a large proportion of this uh, viewership would be thrilled if that were the case. Not myself. And not the average Twisted Metal viewer slash player. So close to the recharge, but oh well. Running a little light. But you do get to see how much damage this thing can take. Because I'm really bad at dodging, so I'm going to take the maximum amount of damage that I can withstand. Okay, this time I made the jump. Just took extra turbo. Outlaw skates by with 1 HP again. Everyone seems to be doing that today. Now I gotta go hunting. This is one of the most miserable things with this car. Traversing the entire level to grab weapons that you need. They did make a real physical Sweet Tooth one time. And then David Jaffe shot it with a machine gun. Until it fell apart. But, uh, yeah, I guess they're going to make... The TV show is live action, so they're going to be making... Actual vehicles.
And something like manslaughter would indeed look pretty cool. IRL. Can't imagine they would want to put the character of Black into a TV show, though. More accurately, the non-character of Black. He's ripe for a mad uh, magazine ripping, though. They would call him Black. They would be right to do so. Yeah, the TV show is a combination of the dark world and the colorful world. So we're getting, like, Hammerhead, driven by Mike and Stu. We're also getting Raven and John Doe. It seems to be mostly dark world with some of the more iconic colorful world crap thrown in there. Haphazardly. That's fine. Make your own world. It is supposed to be a dark action comedy. Which is also a fine way to take things. This is metal's a silly concept. Do what you gotta do to make it real. Didn't want to press that button. But I can do that at any time. I can split the screen in half. And also the frame rate gets split in half when I do that. Damn you, rear view. This with almost my entire special. And I died. Only two enemies left, though, so we should be fine. But I will not have a lot of ammo going into the next level. Also, I think one of the enemies is Roadkill. Who could theoretically kill me. Yeah, it's definitely Roadkill. Got him frozen. There goes half his health. And the rest of his health. Beautiful. Just stay on top of him. Uh, I did not mean to save. There we go. So this doesn't matter too much. I feel like Highway Loop will be faster. So I'm going for that. And I hope I'm not wrong. Yep. I'm not happy about how early this stream had to be either. But if I did it at the usual time, I'd miss my bus. Not ideal. Free shot goes nowhere, as usual. Robot Sweet Tooth would be a perfect target for my special. He would take, like, the entire thing. That is something to aim for, I guess. Got a reticle that I'm not going to use. Maybe I'll try to use it. Probably have to go to waste. Yeah, most of it went into a wall. Eh, seven. I'll take that. And I got a 10 out of 10 on a random civilian vehicle. Beautiful. Alright. Tooth's down at least. Seven enemies left. Gotta be very careful with that bridge because our speed is so low. The slightest bump and cause us to lose our momentum and fall into the water. Still a little unclear how they're going to 
handle the dark world being Sweet Tooth's mind. They're probably just not going to do that. Beautiful. Slightly less so. Oh, did Crazy Eight get a health refill at some point? I need Turbo bad. I can barely move without Turbo. Better. Okay, so we have multiple enemies that need to die urgently. We don't really need to worry about falling off of the bridge to our death. And Slaughter just barely moves, so... That'd be super unlikely. Now it's gonna happen, of course. But it's super unlikely. There's no world where I can catch up to. Mr. Grimm or Spectre. Just can't do anything over there. Don't need to do much to you, you're almost dead. There we go. Four enemies left, but... Mr. Grimm and Spectre both are disinclined to fight unless they're the only enemy left. So if they both decide to go into a runaway routine, there will be nothing I can do. Yeah, she's running now. Uh, Grim's coming my way. Yeah, I was going for a shield. I don't know if I even had enough energy for a shield. Radicals. Atrocious on this level. I'll try to use it anyway. <laughs> Did not expect to see... Junkyard dog here. It'll be easy to take care of, though. It's really the fast cars that I'm worried about. Eh. There's one down. Now we pretty much got this. Mr. Grimm could embarrass me. Just juggle me with specials. They do bounce me upwards. Sort of lock me in place. So if the AI got a little lucky, I'd still theoretically lose. Seems pretty well in my favor now. Yeah. Special plus a ram. He's done for. I have been told that the cab of manslaughter is articulated in this game. It's just very, very subtle. I've never noticed it in Lost. The cab is fully articulated. It turns separately from the load it's carrying. I thought was a much better detail. I actually like Manslaughter and Lost. Not here. Okay. I don't think I can out-bully him. Because this is Minion. This might be my first game over against Minion in a long time. We shall see. 
There's also a delay when we use our special. That's horrible. Oh, yeah, he's pushing me all around. This vehicle's movement is so bad. At least if he kills me, it'll be ridiculously fast. Another panel down. He's got so many more, though. Very few turbo pickups. There's one, though. I just got a health refill and I'm still about to die. There's another one. What am I to do? How do I fight back here? See, all he has to do is run right into me. I'm incapacitated. He's got very little HP left on this last panel. And there it goes. I do keep trying to use shields and they're not really working. That'll happen with any character, though. Satellite, I'd hate to have to use. Great against the final boss, bad against the minion. And this is, as we know, the final appearance of minion in the entire series. Maybe it'll come back in the TV show and therefore in the next game. Can't get more than 60 bullets on the machine gun. So what we're gonna wanna do, I guess start cooking this. Let's get this health refill. That turned out well. Everything according to plan there. Okay, he gets brutalized by the special. Because he's the biggest possible target. So that was a very, very, very close one. But I still pulled it out by becoming extremely cautious right at the very end. Was Black always Black? Or did he simply become this superhero persona when he put on the bondage hood? Starting off with one of the worst possible enemies to see in this little arena. And he's dead. And Brimstone. I could crush him like a bug. But I don't want to look at him. I'd rather just drive in circles. Flinging followers all over the place. <laughs> he finally got me. Oh, I drove into the satellite missile. This is actually the level that broke me. When I was doing my uh, full playthrough many years ago, I haven't played as Manslaughter since. This level is very, very, very hard for Manslaughter. In my experience. Wasted my special all over the place. I 
Pickups are, yeah, very, very sparse on this level. It's the largest level by a wide margin. This car just cannot get around. Passing the bridge, coming into the ports. Maybe no one will come up here and bother me. Of course they did. Going for the shield. Nothing doing. So this is like a guaranteed game over. Six enemies left. I have all my recharges, but nothing else. And then, of course, the beginning will be the most difficult. Then I have to replay this. This I'm giving to the taste of his own medicine. Glad to be rid of him. I've killed the actually very, very dangerous threats. And nothing else. Like, AI Outlaw is surprisingly harmless. Considering that when you play as Outlaw, he's uh, ridiculously deadly. Probably the most powerful vehicle in the entire game. Let's put Manslaughter back where I found him. Yeah. Just back in maximum security. This is it. This is the end of the playthrough. Thanks for tuning in. This is as completed as I'm willing to get. Ah. Uh. Well, I've got full health. Ish. Pretty decent uses of the special. If I can get it down to three, I can probably win, so long as I don't have to use any of my recharges to do it. That would be a bit of a feat. So I, can, I can easily kill one person out there. There's probably health refills on top of the building. Why did I think I'd be able to kill Grim? It's so fast. They're still here. Not anymore. Okay, that's pretty good. Grim caught up to me effortlessly. Because, of course. Just drive my back wheel over the turbo because I drove past it accidentally. It's so slippery. You'd think the tremendous amount of weight this vehicle is carrying would keep it stuck to the ground. Not always. Hello. Lion Axel. Where the hell is he? He's blow me. There we go. Pretty good shot with a special because he simply would not touch the ground.
Okay. So I said if we could whittle it down to three, we'd probably win. Or at least we could win. We're at three. Got a few hits there. Yeah, I'll go for this if he's gonna run away. There we go. Can't shield that though. Or do anything about it. All I can do is run away. Missile's right on my heels, and I'm alive. Coolio. Real close one there. Spectre could have just decided to kill me. I would have no means of retaliation. I think that's Outlaw over there. Did I ever finish Outlaw? Who's the dark blue? Yeah, he's ready to die. And die he has. Okay. All that's left. Spectre. How do I kill Spectre? Probably something like this. Maybe. Close one. Just going for another 10 out of 10. Might have done me in. So yeah, that level is very, very, very hard. Drive-in movie. Also very, very hard. So I'm going to take the Snowy Rose instead. For my own sanity. What are Calypso's weaknesses? I certainly don't know. We don't know anything about this version of Calypso. It's just a few fan theories, I think. Oh, she didn't explode. Yeah, she's back. Dark side drove right off the cliff, but I guess it was at the exact spot where there's a little platform beneath. To catch her. Too bad. I guess I should go for environmental. Somehow I missed all eight opponents with my environmental attack. That's why there was no earth shattering kaboom when I set it off. Like that. Yeah, our ram does pretty impressive amounts of damage. Even when it goes, like, very slowly. I should, uh, go for a health refill. Maybe? That sucks. <laughs> I was hoping to clip up there, like I do in Twisted Metal 1, but that almost never happens in this game. I still have tons of resources. Hopefully it's enough. No one has fallen off the cliff yet. Let's see if I can convince them to do so. I certainly zapped most of them. That was the loudest lightning strike I've ever heard. Huge whiff. Seems like there's some randomness to where your special travels specifically once it's been fired. Sorta hit Robot Sweet Tooth with my special, but he was already transforming back to a car.
There's some health refills underground there. I'm not going to risk going on those tiny platforms with a vehicle that controls this poorly. Another one down. I just need to shoot Outlaw at this point. There he goes. Machine gun him to death. Mr. Grimm is getting a surprising number of hits with his special, which is terrible news. I'm about to fall apart. And yeah, that was only like one rock that hit Mr. Grimm there, and he still lost a lot of health. I'm going for the thing. How about another? Nope. One down. And I take these last two with my remaining life. Looks like it. What are you doing down there? You're not hiding, you're the only one left. We'll just stand here and shoot at each other. Let's see who wins? He's winning. Who wins? Who the hell wins? I win! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Calypso almost had to cancel the competition because there were no survivors. But instead, off we go. On to the abandoned skyscrapers. Clearly, I earned it. Couldn't give that prize to anyone else, so off I go. He's gonna regret it when I kill him for it. Which is definitely how this game ends. Black kills Calypso once and for all. I mean, Sweet Tooth was able to do it. Surely this new character with no personality whatsoever can do the exact same. This is another level that can go pretty badly. I have no confidence. And expressing my lack of confidence has gotten me through every previous level without a game over. Maybe it'll do the same here. I don't like the roadkill that I'm seeing. I don't think I've ever once gotten a recording of Darkseid driving over the edge. It's unfortunate. Back in the day, I like counted on Darkseid driving over the edge. Happened more often than not. I used it up. Yeah, learning AI. Terrible blight on humanity. This is what all those sci fi books warn us about. Dark side no longer killing itself. Okay, I clipped up there this time. Right at the last possible second, too. A lot of close calls this run. It's been going well, but by a razor thin margin. Very small changes, and this would be a horrible run. With a ton of game overs. A 
I'll take my second recharge, why not? No way I'm gonna end up regretting that. There we go. Axel, fantastic target for the special because huge hitbox on that guy. He's back to being a giant. Actually, up to this point in the series, he's always been a giant. It's only head-on that makes him human size, which makes him seem tiny. Hello, Grim. He fought Grim at basically every level so far. He hasn't been quite as much of a thorn in my side as I expected. But he also hasn't accomplished very much. I guess those are not contradictory statements, now that I think about it. And he's gone. Last we're gonna see him, unless I game over here. Don't have any recharges, so anything's possible. I'll wait for this. Been having bad luck with the Wrecking Ball lately. Knock this down. Something I usually like to do way sooner. And Zoomy Missiles. Yeah, Roadkill's still alive. Not a lot of self-preservation instinct on him, though. He has too much confidence in his special right now. So he's just sitting there lining it up. Whilst I crushed him. That follower does, like, nothing as far as damage on me. Actually does decent damage overall. But too much HP on this car. Death seems unavoidable. Yeah. That was a mine. He dropped a mine right where you would land if you were to fall out of that window. Knowing that I had already fallen out of the window. Clever. And now he's not going to get swept off by the Wrecking Ball. Maybe I will repent. Or maybe not. Hail Satan, baby. Uh, I'll try using some satellites. I've been useless with them so far. Oh, Yellow Jacket just killed himself for no reason. And Junkyard Dog appears to have quit. He just saw what happened, gave up. Maybe not the worst idea, Junkyard Dog. You're in violation of Midtown City Code 4432. Step out of your vehicle and surrender peacefully. Time's up. Final boss. More fun if Clipso runs. It is kind of neat that there are no generic loaded screens that are used for Black, the character. The way there are for um, a lot of the other characters, reuse. Like, this guy won last year's contest, but I'm not afraid of him. 
but obviously that would stick out like a sore thumb or black to say anything coherent like that. Uh oh. Okay. If you get hit with the tenderizer, it actually grabs you. I get hit with it so rarely. I've never really seen it so clearly. Not sure why it didn't take me all the way over the edge. Alright. Shield's almost down. Frozen again for the millionth time. Shield is down. Guess what I should do is try and use my special on Warhawk and just see what the hell happens. Nothing. It seems like there are phases where it gets like really, really low to the ground though. It might actually be possible to hit it with the special in those instances. But even then, maybe not. Zooey missiles again. Worthless. Killed the supply helicopter. And then I didn't get the health refill anyway. So if I get some satellites, we'll be fine. That's a satellite. There we go. That is a bunch of rocks getting hurled at a helicopter. Who is still alive? Hopefully not for much longer. Getting too ambitious. There. Once again, no winner. <laughs> Running theme of this playthrough. No one wins when you have to watch Black's ending. It's the worst one in the game. We'll talk about what was changed in it between the beta and the final. But first we should see the minion unlock cutscene for the first time. In like 20 years for me, possibly the first time ever, if you've only seen my content. Uh, what is this screen? Beware, easy mode is here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's save these things that I just unlocked. And then the credits, we gotta skip the credits, as usual. But there we go. I expected that to be a much, much longer playthrough, but it wasn't. Beautiful. So, first things first. Originally, Black's ending was not narrated by Black. It was narrated by an unnamed character who is, most people suspect, Mr. Ash, who possessed Black back in, um, 
the original Twisted Metal on the PS1. And his dialogue implies that he created Black and uh, sent him after Calypso. And his dialogue, like, covers the entire cutscene. It's not just two short lines. So that's why the cutscene is so long, even though Black has barely anything to say. Much, much more interesting than what we got in the final game. And the bomb that Calypso leaves behind was the bomb that the terrorists used to blow up the building in um, John Doe's story. Further cementing the um, relation between Calypso and the terrorists who in the beta were also explicitly white supremacists. So they had to change quite a bit, unfortunately. All the changes I've just discussed are changes for the worse. I don't know why they were made. Like some of them were censorship, but I don't think any of those were censorship. Why would they be? They just made the story less interesting. Ah, well. Um, David Jaffe may have confirmed that it was Mr. Ash. David Jaffe did do a, like, description of all the cutscenes. Like, he streamed every cutscene in this game and talked about... He basically did developer commentary for all the cutscenes in this game, but then he paywalled that video. So I haven't seen it in a long time. I also forget what details were spilled in that legendary... Frankly, kind of boring video. But alas. For the most part, we know what we need to know. And what we know now is that we have unlocked every ending for every character in this game. Beautiful. So, obviously next week we won't be playing Twisted Metal Black, even though it is the final Monday of the month. I'll have a pre-recorded Twisted Metal full playthrough posted up on next Monday. So at least there's something. Oh, there's Minion. I'm so used to skipping past this blank spot. But it's not blank anymore. There he is. Our guy. Who could he be? Could be anybody. Yeah, Minion appears to just be driving over some random unnamed vehicle. I guess it couldn't have been one of the competitors because all the competitors are accounted for here on this screen. This is all one gigantic mural that we're panning across as we select each character. So Minion is just crushing a random person. Now, next week is accounted for. Pre-recorded full playthrough. Tune in for that. Next month, however, will be March. It's Minion March. I'm going to play through all four games in which Minion is playable. So, and we're going to do that in order. It'll be Twisted Metal 2, then 3, then 4, then Black. Full playthroughs. Each of them with a minion. Should be fun and ridiculously fast, because minion is always very, very overpowered. So that's our plan for the upcoming month, and that will finally finish off Twisted Metal Black in its entirety. I think it's possible to play Twisted Metal 1 as minion, but you have to use a game shark code and it breaks the game badly. Because that game is held together with duct tape to begin with. So I don't think I'll be showing that off, but maybe. Maybe it's like a little bonus thing. I'll show off a little bit of that. Or maybe not. No promises. What I do promise is that's what's coming up next month. And for now, it's still two months. So, coming up next, 
for the rest of the stream, I'll be playing through everyone's favorite, Karma Get Into. That's well. <laughs> we're gonna make up for the fact that uh, Manslaughter was a fan favorite with a fan anti-favorite, Carmageddon. It's coming back, so in just a minute, we'll begin that. But for now, against all odds, the Manslaughter playthrough is over. I am Fiendly, and I thank you for watching Twisted Monday.